Hey guys, welcome back to my second episode of our first investment property. Today we are changing the screen door to a solid steel door. We're going to measure all four sides and make sure the door we bought fits the space. Looks good. So we're going to take these two by fours and place them on both sides of the door to build it out. Your drill should be charged for this part. Make sure it's nice and straight. So are both sides the same measurement? No. They're a little off from one, each other? One inch off. One inch? Yeah. Is that normal? Oh, so it's a little And it So it's like. That's the hardest part. <laughs> we probably could have gotten a 32 by 80, but it's always best to go smaller than go bigger. Everything looks solid and ready to go. Let's add the door. Ah, so many plastics. Yeah, this is the grand finale. Yay, it fits. You guys probably need to go over the tree or patch this in with drywall and stuff like that. It's yeah. no big deal. But we can uh, we can keep this out a little ways so that the drywall will come right into this here. If it just goes flip, if it's just a little bit here too, and, and here you know, make and delivery. Yeah. It just needs a little bit more. Oh no, yeah, the door won't there. open all the way. Shims will be your best friend in this project. I know it looks like a huge gap, but we're just gonna fill it in with window and door foam. Do not use the heavy duty stuff because it will actually expand too much and just mess up your whole door. Look at my level. <laughs> so just keep adding shims wherever it needs to and make sure the door is completely level on all four sides. We actually bought a smaller door for the space, so we had to layer up the shims two by two. It's always better to buy a smaller door for the space than a door that is way too big. It's easier to build it out. Don't worry guys, we're almost at the end. Congratulations on making it this far. Yay, it works and it looks beautiful. Since everything looked great and was solid, now it's time to cut down these shims. Oh no, the vibration from the tool is moving all of the shims around. Oh no. I guess it's time to score and break the old fashioned way. This is the best part to make sure the door is solid and there is enough shim underneath. If not, you can always add more. Everything is pretty snug now, so let's get the big boy tool back. <laughs> 